it's my favorite time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Christmas? No, Oshkosh. Of course. It's Christmas for pilots. <laughs> Stay tuned. back from Oshkosh uh, 2022. Wow, what a week it was. It was an amazing week, learned so much and... Was it the airplanes or the people that made Oshkosh 2022 so special? 2022 was definitely all about the people. What were some of your highlights? The, 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 the things that you saw, the people that you met, what was the top? I don't think I can pick one. So. We decided to make Oshkosh even more adventurous. We just picked up our F-150 Lightning and had 150 miles on it. Picked up Tuesday. We we're leaving Friday to go to Oshkosh, decided to drive. So we went electric all the way up. All the way. Wow. Um, we learned a lot about um, charging electric vehicles this trip. So we're gonna cover that in detail uh, here shortly. But we made it up, um, most of it hands-free. F-150 has an autopilot. It was pretty awesome. Um, so as soon as we get there, uh, one of the days we, um, well, we stay in Camp Shoulder in a place called Camp Bacon. With a group of friends, now family. Our, our, our Oshkosh family is up there and um, staying at Camp Bacon. Dan Coyne, the mayor of Camp Bacon this year, usually it's uh, Larry and Mary Beth Overstreet, but they could not make it due to a birth of their grandchild that happened right around Oshkosh. Uh, but between uh, Dan Coyne and Neil. Uh, Grant and Leslie. Grant, Leslie, uh, Scott, Martine. Uh, God, the list goes on and on of all the great people up there. We're going to miss out some of our friends' names. Sorry about that. Um, so, how transportation is a problem at Oshkosh? Not for us. Not for us. We got <laughs> friends who have been volunteering on Oshkosh for what, 18, 20 years? Um, 35. 35 years been a volunteer. So, you kind of work your way up the seniority level, and he now drives the smoke truck. Smoke on. So you know how much we love smoke. So we call Scott, hey, can you pick us up and take us back to camp? He's like, sure. So he shows up in the, uh, I don't know what kind of car that is. Special. It's a very special car that the uh, Paparetsny family, I can never pronounce that name, uh, they modified back in the late 70s and it, it's been maintained and restored. Uh, but of course, Scott can't drive in a straight line. So uh, he pops out on the flight line. Uh, we get a tour of uh, Oshkosh from the perspective that most people never see. Make a pit stop by the uh, van's uh, aircraft area because they need smoke oil. That's his job is to go to the people who need smoke oil and fill them up. Fill them up. What else did we see on that tour? We went by Weeks Hangar. Yep, Kermit Weeks Hangar. Uh, it's not something that you always can get into, but we got a little walk around, see all the air show vehicles, uh, air show airplanes. Uh, we saw um, a lot of the, sh the ones used at the night air show. We saw um, Patty Wagstaff's Patty. plane. We saw the Twin Baron that uh, does engine out maneuvers and aerobatics. We saw lots of P-51 Mustangs. Yeah, it's really awesome. Cool trip. Uh, but what was our real reason for going to Oshkosh this year? Shop for our RV. Shopping time. Um, so, Vans Aircraft. I can't say enough about the people at Vans. They are so amazing. Yeah, so, uh, I got to meet one of our favorite people at Vans Aircraft. And trust me, when we say he's our favorite, that means a lot. Because 
there's nobody at Vans Aircraft who does not deserve the title of our favorite. Uh, they're all awesome people, but Kevin. Got to meet Kevin in the flesh, yeah. and he's such a great guy. Yep, and he, he like many other Vans uh, employees, took this job because they reached a point in their career where they just wanted a fun job because they wanted to, not because they needed to advance their career or get into that. He had built airplanes before, um, had good experiences with the builders, and he says, I want to give back. And Kevin is one of those tech, uh, technical people that you call when you just screwed something up and you say, help me. And he, he's got a, just a, the perfect demeanor for that. He's knowledgeable and he never makes you feel stupid. No, he's so patient with me. Yeah, so love Kevin, uh, Sterling. Sterling, also in the technical department. Yeah, the head of it. Yeah. No, and another person just seems to know anything about everything across the board. Yeah. Asked him several questions about some of the things we run into, about some of the decisions we want to make. And they were just there to fill us all in. Even got to spend some time with Greg Hughes. Uh, I had a mission of I wanted to do a sit down interview with Greg Hughes. We got it. Um, so that will be coming up in a future episode really soon. Everybody at Vans. We're walking up. Uh, we found out that most of uh, the employees at Vans are watching this channel, which was really um, just humbling and so almost surprising for us. But thank you, um, er everybody in every department, just meeting the people that we've been talking to and emailing. So fantastic. Yeah. So Cleveland Tools. Next. We went just a few feet over and said hi to Mike. <laughs> so Mike has been instrumental in our understanding of build, building airplanes. Um, we have not really established a relationship with a technical advisor, have not gone to any courses or seminars on building. Uh, we've got Cleveland Tools and Mike's uh, YouTube channel. It's really taught us a lot. And um, so far, I think that plane will hold together. We're doing great. We're doing great. Um, Mike, another person, I mean, I should just come to expect everyone in aviation are awesome people, but way above and beyond after we started talking to Mike, um, we're hatching some cool plans in the near future. So um, ordered a whole bunch more stuff from Mike. Uh, so that's arriving really soon. Um, spent, well, committed to spend a lot of money at Evoke. <laughs> We got on the list for our paint job. So we have a date for when our airplane's gonna be painted. That's gonna keep us motivated. Uh, the date's in six weeks, right? No. No. Uh, June of 2025 is our paint slot date. So it uh, seems achievable. So let's see if we can fly a fully painted uh, Vans RV14A looking beautiful into osh 25 that's our goal we got this <laughs> uh but <clears throat> we learned a lot about their process saw lots of their examples um you know a plane's been painted by evoke when you see it it's stunning and beautiful it's gorgeous tim at lycoming i let ken handle the engine portion of this yeah. so so we decided we are going with PMAGs uh, from Lycoming on our Thunderbolt uh, IO390. Um, and he kind of indicated that they have room to kind of slide us around in slots. So if our slot comes up and we don't think we're exactly ready, there's probably some room to slide, but I wouldn't count on it and I wouldn't push it too much. At a certain point, you're gonna have to take your engine, um, especially if you order it at the lower price because they, they need to, get to the more expensive engines. Um, avionics, we spent a lot of time talking to our two top choices for uh, avionics help. Midwest Panel Builders and Stein Air. Yep. Still don't know which one I'm choosing. Uh, they, it's not like one is horrible and the other is better. They're both fantastic. We're gonna have a great job, uh, a great panel from either. Um, so yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with either. No. Um, so we're going to, I think we've refined what we want in our panel. So I'm going to do another round of let's quote it out and, um, 
make a final decision, but that'll happen here pretty soon. Yep. Aircraft specialty flight lines. Okay, if you haven't talked to these guys, I suggest you call them up and hear about what they have. Yes, so we were told at one of our meetups that you have to go down by the ultralight area to meet with these guys. I'm like, what the heck is a, um, you know, an RV experimental, an RV specific vendor doing down by ultralights? And so you get tired of people walking up and talking to him about a, RV that they built eight years ago and blah, 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 blah. And he said, if people want to talk to me, they're going to come out of their way. Um, and so we did. Mm -hmm. um, well worth it. Signed up for uh, the, their uh, brake and wheel option and a modification to the fuel system. Um, and custom um, pedals by control approach. So um, yeah, the price tag is uh, adding up. Um, then, then we got into some more of the fun things. Um, yes. Our friends at Redbird. Um, now, Redbird is in our hometown near Austin, Texas. And uh, so I, I, I know the Redbird people well. And our favorite, favorite person at uh, Redbird, uh, Harvey. Harvey. Um, spent some time with him. And Will. And Will. So a lot of the tools that we have is because of Will. He. Uh, put on a long-term loan a lot of the tools that he wasn't using um, uh, to help us start this build. And for that, we're ever grateful uh, for Will. Um, you get to meet somebody that you really care about, that you're re we're really excited about. So, John, I'm doing King School. I'm doing King School for my ground school and my training. And I have just fallen in love with John and Martha King. And we met up with them at Oshkosh, thanks to your friend, Bob. Bob, uh, uh, Bob the head of NAFI. And he was like, oh, I'll introduce you. Talk about the greatest couple in aviation that I have ever met. Just um, as entertaining and goofy as they are on camera, absolutely just wonderful people um john was telling us a whole bunch of stories of what it was like to fly with his wife uh, that resonated well with us um we had several uh builder meetups uh, including one that we hosted the rv14 builder meetup went off fantastically got to meet so many great people and now they're friends for life. And, um, Builder Bash, uh, hosted by Flight Chops and Plain Lady. And Gil. And Gil uh, from Build Fly Go. Uh, so many people. We actually met Gil at a EV charger 40 miles outside of Oshkosh on our way in. We pull in and it's like, hey, man, here, we hand him our card. Watch our channel. And he goes, oh, here, watch my channel. And like, <laughs> oh, I knew you looked familiar. <laughs> um, saw him several times that week. Uh, just so many people that we met and so many of people watching our channel coming up to us and introducing themselves. Um, I honestly didn't think people were watching. So remember, subscribe for us. Hit the subscribe button. We're supposed to, apparently YouTube rules are we're supposed to say that a lot. Um, but that does help us if you click the subscribe button. Um, uh, one of the big challenges we were facing is how do we set the pedals, the rudder pedals and the seats so that both of us have comfortable rudder positions? It's a real problem when we're different heights. So um, to help with that and to test drive, not test drive, but test feel that center console throttle, uh, Flight Chops uh, had us sit in his airplane. And yeah, he let us climb in and check it out. Another beautiful job by Evoke Paint Job. Um, uh, the interior is beautiful. Um, you know, his, his YouTube channel's out with uh, a lot of the process going into the build. Um, that plane is as amazing to look at in person as it was on the channel. Uh, really cool. Um, we even uh, gotten the 50th anniversary picture at Vans. 
Where were we in the picture? I mean, you have to search for us, right? Front and center. Front and center. I don't know how. I just followed her. And we find ourselves standing behind Vans himself. Mr. Van. Right next to the 50th anniversary sign. Um, but um, hearing some of the history of Vans aircraft and the story behind the missing uh, RV numbers. That was great. That was great. I'm not going to spoil that one or do it justice by trying. Um, but then um, oh, I even had to, I did two forums for Pilot Partner. Yeah, you were a hit too. So uh, <laughs> it was a busy, busy week. Very busy week. Not tiring at all, was it? I'm exhausted. Yeah, and then two days of driving home. Uh, so we left Sunday at 7.30 a.m., got home Monday night at 11.30 p.m. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we were exhausted. Oh, there. Mm. Are you still exhausted? A little bit. Yep. So uh, that was kind of our Oshkosh 2022 um, night air show. The night air show was awesome. Did they... Did they? Did you enjoy that? I did, but I'm a sucker for fireworks and airplanes. This is the first year that they actually had airplanes flying as the fireworks are going off. Wow. Um, the explosions did not disappoint. The fireworks were great. The night air show, fantastic as always. Um, it, was, it was a great Oshkosh. I call it a success. Um, but the thing about Oshkosh is uh, I wish Oshkosh was one day longer, so no one ever. <laughs> come Sunday, it was time to come home uh, and start thinking about Osh 23. Are we ready for that? Not yet. <laughs> I, need, I, I need a little less than a year, then I'll be ready. Oh, so we need to save up some more money. Yes. Because you spend a lot at Oshkosh. <laughs> that was weird. I mean, last year uh, you committed to buying a buying and building an RV. And? I did not say no. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, looking forward to it. So, uh, thanks for joining. And we'll see you next time on 14 Victor Echo.